channel my name is Stacy Flowers and I'm so super excited that you are here so many of you guys were excited about my thrift store haul and specifically the bag that I purchased and you wanted to see what I carry in my bag so I just figured I'd shoot this quick video to show you what is in my bag <laughs> let me actually grab that here for you all so this is my bag um, the one that I got thrifted and this is literally what I carry every day. And so far I'm loving this bag because it, it literally is like super, super lightweight and I can put so much stuff in here. So let's dive into what's in my bag. And I haven't cleaned it out or anything like that. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of interesting to see. So let's see, the first thing, I'll point out this, I do have my Moleskin journal in here. And this is the same journal that I talk about um, pretty much in all my videos where I'm like, where I write stuff down. Oh, I stuck a little picture in here for my sons. I sent him a really interesting birthday gift and so I needed some of those old pictures. But anyway, this is the Moleskin journal that I use for planning, but also that I write everything in and I'm down to the last couple of pages. So I will need to get another one for the rest of the year, but this is inside of my bag. So I have a pen. This is a Pilot G207 pen. It's one of my favorite styles of pen. Um, this is like my favorite pen with like colors and stuff like that. But there's a, my favorite pen that's a black pen. It's not in my purse right now. I actually don't know where I misplaced it, but I need to find it. Um, but yeah, I have that pen in there. Then I have my envelopes. Let's see if I have any. I don't think I have any money in any of my envelopes. Oh, I do. I have a little, I have a little cash in my envelopes. Isn't that nice? Um, but this is my original cash envelopes from when I started the Dave Ramsey program. So I'm super excited um, that there's a little bit of money in there. Um, it's probably my pocket money one. So I have my envelope system in there. Then I have this little pooch. This is like a pooch that carries like all of my cards and stuff. It's one that when I crossed into Delta Sigma Theta, Sorority Incorporated, um, I was given a lot of gifts. And so I have all of my cards in here so let's kind of just go through what's in here really really quick i'm just gonna i really have quite a lot in this little pooch don't i um let's see i have a gift card to dunkin donuts someone gave me I have a couple of business cards i have my delta sigma theta membership card i have my benny's beverage depot which where is a really inexpensive inexpensive place to get wine and spirits I have a vip pass to the king spa which i am going to be going very soon to get some relaxation I have a target gift card um i received that a little bit ago um and i'm super excited about this target gift card because i can find things i have my bus pass I have my library card ask me which card i'm the most excited about having in my bag it would be wait can you guys see my number <laughs> sorry it would be my library card i love the library um this is the receipt for my son's birthday gift i actually need to put this in the safe so that it can be picked up on my renter's insurance this is a cash card i don't know if you guys remember back in january my part-time job i wasn't getting paid um direct deposit for my part-time job so they needed to put the money on a card and this is that card um this is a laundry card i don't need it anymore because i have laundry here in my building this is my prescription card this is my old ID from when I was a student. I don't know why I still have that in my bag. I haven't been a student in a while. My insurance card, my debit card, and another business card. Here, quite a lot. <laughs> I carry a lot. The piece de resistance inside of my <laughs> bag. The book that I'm currently reading, I'm actually reading four books right now, but this is like the book that has been incredibly captivating and I'm actually gonna switch it out because it's one of those books that you cannot, let me bring it a little closer, um, you cannot read this book quickly and so because every single chapter is packed full of awesomeness and the title is Soulmates Honoring the Mysteries of Love and Relationships by Thomas More. And this is one of the books that I picked up for my birthday. I told you guys I went into a vintage bookstore and I love going into this bookstore because when you walk in, there's this big sign that says no photos, no videos, you know, silence your cell phones. And there's like a big enough sign for you to know to do that. But then when you get in there, there's like this old guy who clearly loves books, who's like, 
I would like for you to turn your cell phone off or on silent because we don't want it, you know, and I'm like, oh, I love it. And it's just like every nook and cranny is like filled with books and the hot, the, the, the walkthrough spaces are so narrow. It was just like the perfect little bookstore. But anyway, found this gym. It is a first edition and I am loving it so far. So if you guys stay tuned through the end of the video, I will read my favorite passage from this book to you all, but it is a great, great book so far. So I have that in here. Then I have a couple of pieces of paper in here, but this is really rare. I rarely carry bits of pieces of paper because I usually um, write everything in my moleskin. So I'm curious as to see what these pieces of papers are. Ah, okay. This is a little, <laughs> this is a little uh, sketch of my apartment because when I go out and about and I'm looking for things, I like to have the general layout of my apartment so that that way if I see like a steal, like, cause you know, I get pocket money. So if I see a steal on like a photograph or something like that, then I will imagine the space in my home that it will go. But I like to have a little layout there and a little list at the top of things that would be really amazing if I found those while I was out. So that's on that side. And then on this side, it's just some general like chicken scratch notes. I clearly I did not have my journal with me when I wrote that. And this is a piece of paper interesting this is i'm actually going to transfer the notes on this piece of paper to my moleskin so on this piece of paper i have two things one one okay right here this is just a sketch of a conversation that i was having where i was like mapping the timeline of like interesting things like that happened in the bible and i was trying to do a timeline because i think sometimes when people read the bible like they don't at least for me, like I don't understand it in the timeline format of it. And so I was trying to place the timeline and I was like having a conversation. I'm very visual. So me writing it down was like helping me. So that's on one side. On the other side is some notes I took about cognitive dissonance, which is something that I'm experiencing this month to like a huge degree. And in part, I knew that was coming because I set a very big goal with respect to earning more money this month. And so I knew some cognitive dissonance was going to come up, but I've been doing a lot more reading on it and more research about it so that that way, because I'm aware that I'm experiencing cognitive dissonance, it's not enough to be aware that you're experiencing something and not actually have tools to overcome it. And so I'm going to transfer that to my moleskin. My cell phone is in here. And then I have a little bit of hand sanitizer is in here. I have a couple of toothpicks and for those of you all who think I'm like this closeted vegetarian, you know, these toothpicks are to get meat out of my teeth because sometimes I eat meat. <laughs> um, and then I have two little samples of fragrance from Sephora. One fragrance, oh, it smells so good. I'm definitely gonna get a bottle of this. I can't remember what the name, I was gonna bring this closer, but you're, it's a sample. Um, I can't remember what the name of this is, but I was, looking for a i'm looking for my scent like in general and i thought that i had my scent and i really loved it but then i wore it and i wore it and like i told a bunch of people about it and then they started wearing it and it was like irritating i know that that's weird because we should like not that we should but it's nice to share things and in general as you can see i really like sharing things but i think for my scent like i want my scent to be like mine like when I cut when I enter a room and when I leave a room I want you to know that I've been there but I don't want you and, and when you smell it later on I want you to be like oh that smells like Stacy like that's the feeling that I want to have and so I had found two scents that I love shared it with pretty much everybody that I knew they started wearing it and now I'm like I love it but I'm not that's not going to be my scent because everybody's wearing it so any hoodle, this is a very fresh delicious smelling scent like smells so freaking good this may be my scent um i want something that's year round and this this smells very like spring summertime or you know i'm on my honeymoon or like you know i'm on a vacation in a tropical place so it may not be my all over scent but it is a very strong like contender because it smells so good this is Woman by Ralph Lauren. This won't be my personal scent, but I do think I'm going to add this fragrance to my life because it just, it just smells really good. Like in the bottle, it doesn't smell as amazing as it does when I put it on and it mixes with my chemistry. Like it's a very like just, you know, like you just, you know how sometimes, I don't know why I'm moving my shoulders. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know how sometimes you just you put on something and it just makes you feel good like that's what this smells like but it is a very um it's a scent that's that i think will become very popular which is the reason why i probably won't be my personal scent um maybe it, it i mean the chemistry changes but i just think it smells really good so i have those two samples because you guys know i'm on a budget and can't buy that right now so that is all that i also have this this is like the little pooch that came with this bag which i'll probably turn into like a coin purse i just leave it in here because it came with it and there's enough room for it and yeah that's it that is what i have in my bag so if you get this book <laughs> turn to page 30 and you will see my favorite passage and this is how it goes it says the idea of a soulful relationship is not a sentimental one nor is it easy to put into practice the courage required to open one's soul to express itself or to receive another is infinitely more demanding than the effort we put into avoidance of intimacy. The stretching of the soul is like the painful opening of the body in birth. It is so painful in the doing that we often will attempt to avoid it, even though such opening is ultimately full of pleasure and reward. That is my favorite chapter inside of this book. I feel like there has never been a better description of like soulmates like soulful relationships like just the depth at which like and it's like if you talk to any of my friends you know they they all know like i am the girl who believes in soulmates i'm the girl who believes in happily ever after i you know i'm an eternal optimist and so i remember like reading that passage and being like wait a minute like soulful relationships like the way like the way he compared those just like blew me away and warmed my heart all at the same time and i was just like totally hooked so yes i adore this book um and so far i'm really enjoying the concepts and i hope that you guys enjoyed that little passage as well as a preview into my purse <laughs> and what's in my bag um if you guys have any more questions for me just leave them in the comments below as always i so deeply appreciate you for supporting my work and i look forward to talking to you all very very soon bye